Well, we just watched the Nintendo Direct for 2022. Um, I wasn't blown away. I was a little disappointed, actually, with a couple of the lack of announcements that I heard. I won't be going through every single one of them because there's obviously a lot. And I guess I can say that leading into this uh, Nintendo Direct, everybody kind of had a wish list of things they wanted to see. And I think it's pretty safe to say Nintendo cast a very wide net. Um, they basically went through so many franchises so rapidly. There was easily over 30 announcements. Some of them weren't so new, like uh, Advance Wars was a perfect example, a game we knew was coming. They still showed it again, I guess, to kind of like build up the hype for it. But man, did they cast a wide net. <laughs> we had some new announcements, like the big finale was Xenoblade Chronicles 3, which I'm sure people knew was on the radar, but it was neat to see that we actually got some more deep look at that and a at least initial com uh, commitment on date. I thought that was nice. Uh, we got just a little bit of the Nintendo online stuff. Uh, we're going to be getting uh, some Earthbound content and nothing there on the Nintendo Classic front, nothing on the N64 front. I think a lot of people had anticipated GoldenEye being announced. It was not. Uh, and also, of course, a promotion for the Nintendo Switch, the Plus Edition, to uh, entice people to get it, um, including all that Mario Kart DLC, the remastered track DLC. So when you look back at kind of them, you know, going across the board, it, it kind of touched a little bit on everything, but I don't know if there was any significant announcement that really blew everybody away. And this is kind of a disappointment. Um, Nintendo, I thought, really doing a broad stroke direct like this, not something like we've been seeing in the past that focuses on a specific piece of content, but just kind of the state of Nintendo, so to speak. There were a lot of glaring holes. There were a lot of things that people have been eagerly anticipating and some updates that we were hoping to see that we did not receive. Uh, I think the biggest elephant in the room there obviously had to be Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. While I think we can all now safely assume that game is a lot farther out than we had thought, um, I think it's safe to say Nintendo announced it way too early, which is a problem they have. Look at Metroid Dread, another perfect, I'm sorry, Metroid Prime, another perfect example, where they show off, uh, hey, we're going to be working on this game, and then radio silence for years. We're falling very quickly into that same trap again, and as much as we didn't want to get hyped up for it, as much as we didn't want to believe it was happening, that's exactly what Nintendo did to us. So when you see a trailer that doesn't really have any specific date or time to it, it's safe to assume it's going to be a ways out. Obviously, COVID has a lot to do with that. And I understand Nintendo wants to be at the forefront of trying to stay relevant. Uh, you look at what Microsoft and PlayStation have been up to in the last couple of months with these massive acquisitions. And Nintendo obviously marches to their own beat you know they don't follow in anybody's footsteps they release things whenever they want and however they want they've always been that way and we love them for that but uh sometimes you got to have some home runs <laughs> and not really sure i saw anything today that really made me run out and say okay turn on the console we need to buy this game right now um i guess maybe the closest thing that i was slightly interested in and it's only because i'm so late to the fire emblem party is the Fire, Hem Fire Emblem DLC for the Fire Emblem Heroes, um, or Fire Emblem Warriors, rather, the Dynasty Warriors spinoff game. Um, and that's only because I started playing Fire Emblem just yesterday, um, a little bit behind, uh, at least three houses. I just started that content. So I was like, oh, I recognize that character. Oh, I know who that is. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know if anybody has the same love and respect for that franchise the way that I do. That one kind of spoke to me. But um, really outside of that, I can't think of anything that made me just want to throw my money down and say, give me this game right now. I have to have it. And um, I think that's kind of unfortunate. There was a lot of things they could have done better and I could spend all day talking about all the things I hated uh, or didn't like or where was this or why didn't we get that announcement. But I'll just say that Nintendo had an opportunity here to release something and maybe they just don't have anything to show, I guess. I don't know. Um, I don't think the world was yearning for a Nintendo Direct. 
I know when they announced it, it, it blew up in terms of social media and excitement and hype and everybody starts putting together their wish list and their want list, but none of that came to fruition. None of that came to fruition. Um, no updates at all in Nintendo Switch Online in terms of the games outside of, like I said, outside of um, Earthbound. Uh, no real progress on some of their major hit titles. A lot of older DLC. Uh, your DLC for games that I don't know necessarily needed it, like Metroid Dread adding a Dread mode. I don't know. I, I'm glad I saw it. I'm, I was excited. Um, I want more. I think we'll be looking forward to Kirby. That's probably the next big hit, I think. They added a, you know, some showed some stuff there. Um, but really outside of that, I think the first six months for Nintendo look kind of backlog heavy. I think that's probably the best thing I could say for it is we're not really in a situation right now where I think we're going to see a whole lot of stuff coming out anytime soon that's a must-have. A lot of the stuff that they announced had already been given for free on Xbox Game Pass or was available by other means. A perfect example is Portal. Portal was a phenomenal game when it came out 20 years ago. I don't know how many people are just chomping at the bit to finally get their hands on a localized port of Portal, considering how optimized that game runs. And we know that the Nintendo Switch isn't necessarily up to the challenge hardware-wise. You gotta wonder, who is that game really for? Um, and it just goes down the list. You could just look at any of these announcements and just say, wow, that was an interesting thing. Okay, well, who's this for? Who's this for? Um, it didn't speak to me as a day one Switch user. It didn't speak to me in terms of, um, you know, something I must have or um, a, a title that I've been just yearning for, even a sneak preview of something. These are a lot of older ported over games or free to game pass games. I thought that they would really leverage the Nintendo Switch Online service. I thought they would really leverage into some of the upcoming games and titles they have coming out and didn't really get a lot of that. Um, I don't know if I'm the only one that isn't that excited about Splatoon, um, but I feel like we've seen probably three or four Splatoon trailers at this point, and it's not really doing it for me personally. Uh, and like I said, I'm sure there are other people out there, but just a lot of franchises didn't show up. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's because the Smash announcements are over, and that was what was really driving a lot of these Nintendo Directs is who's going to be the next Smash character. I was hoping for maybe something along those lines, some big thing for us to rally behind, but I can name off a dozen franchises that have not gotten any TLC in a long time. F-Zero, Pilot Wings, Punch-Out, Legend of Zelda, and I'm just like, where are these? Where is any of this? And we're not getting it. So don't expect much. I don't know. I'm going to go back to playing uh, Three Houses. I'll probably have an update video for that here in another week or two once I get a little bit further in the content. But uh, unfortunately, the Nintendo Switch, I think, didn't do itself any favors today. I'd like to hear from you guys. Sound off in the comments below. Thanks for tolerating the uh, different digs. I will be back at home tomorrow. That's it for now. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, I will see you guys on the other side.